Anyway, he got this at an estate sale for $5 and he flipped it for $450 plus shipping. Hey, Bella Buddies, thanks for watching. Amazing, right? All right, let's get started. Hey, Bella Buddies, thanks for watching. All right, in this video, we are going to talk about big money, unexpected bolos, items to be on the lookout for, items you can hopefully buy low and sell high. These items come from my Bolo Buddies members, which means they have joined memberships of my channel to be featured in this video. If you would like to join, there is a join button down below. All right, I am gonna tell you where they got the item, what they paid for it, and what it sold for, and wait until you see some of these Bolos. All right, the first item here comes from the Philly Flipper. And all of these channels will be linked down in the description if they have a channel and their eBay stores. So definitely check out what they're selling and check out their solds. They are Bolo finders and sub them up and follow their stores. All right, all of them linked down below. The first one comes from Philly Flipper, has an awesome YouTube channel. He takes you to the garage sales he takes you to the auction house and he shows you how he finds these big money bolos. So check him out. He keeps his videos completely educational. You are gonna love his channel. And let's talk about his first bolo. So the first item he has here is this vintage little kittle. And if you guys have been at my channel for a while, I have talked about these before. They are definitely something that you wanna pick up if you see them. This one is in horrible condition. Its face is green. Um, so I can't remember what it's called, but sometimes like Barbies will get like green ear. This thing has like green face. <laughs> wow. Um, it's kind of a mess, but it's Cinder Riddles, I think is what they're calling it. It's supposed to be like Cinderella and not in great condition and still sold for $80. So it just goes to show you that even if something's not in great condition, there may be somebody that is looking for that item. So go ahead and list it and see what happens. All right. The next item is um, something that he sold on Facebook. So this is a Bose DVD D unit. It's the unit only, and he sold this for $110, and I believe the buyer paid shipping on that. So he sells on multiple platforms. Again, he's over on Whatnot. Check out Philly Flipper on Whatnot also. I do have a link where you can join down below, and you get $10 um, credit. So it's like a buyer's credit once you sign up, and you can use it. You can spend it. So that's great, right? You can buy something to resell or something for yourself. All right, this is a 1960s Miller Beer lighted three box, three bottles, ice bucket wall sign. So light up signs, you know, porcelain signs, definitely be on the lookout for those types of items. And I completely forgot to tell you guys where he got it and what he paid for it because I have just been rambling. So I apologize. This beer light came from a yard sale and he paid $5 for it and sold it for a hundred. Let's go back to the little kittle. This one he got at a garage sale and it looks like he paid $25 for that. So he did pay up. I don't know if it was a lot of things or um, like a bundle and or if he actually paid 25 bucks for it. So hopefully he will watch and clarify in the comments for us. And this Bose he got at an auction house for eight bucks and again sold it for 110. All right, the next item comes from the Cha-Ching King, and he is getting close to 5,000 subscribers. His channel is just growing like a weed. Go and check him out. He's got lots of educational videos for newer sellers. He's been doing this a long time, and he really takes the opportunity to share with people who are new how to get started, like shipping made easy, different videos like that. All right, so the first item he sold is this pennant, which is incredible. It's a misprint from 1972 Miami Dolphins pennant, Super Bowl world champions, New Orleans, LA. Um, I'm trying to see where the misprint is. It says most rare pennant I have ever come across. I don't know. Let's see. It says, oh, okay. Misprint, pre-game print, 
from the 1972 Super Bowl, which proclaims the Miami Dolphins as the world champions. Of course, Dallas Cowboys won that game. This is exceptionally rare. Okay, so someone like me would have no idea <laughs> that that was a misprint because I don't follow sports. Like I was looking for like a spelling error or something like that. Anyway, he got this at an estate sale for $5 and he flipped it for $450 plus shipping. That's pretty fun. The next item is this, oh, Halicon, Kion, H-A-L-C-Y-O-N, Days Texas History Limited Edition Enamel Trinket Box, 203 out of 1,000, very rare. So he got this at an estate sale for $20 and he sold it for $423.99 plus shipping. The next item is this vintage candy striper uniform dress. It is red and white. If you don't know what a candy striper is, it is a volunteer for the hospital. And the only reason I know that is because my mom was a candy striper. So um, I thought this was a really cool item. And he picked this up from the Goodwill bins, had about $2 in it, and he sold this one for $89. And he did mention that he had picked up others that also sold. This one here is Double T's Treasures. And she is so close to 1K. And I actually pulled these tabs up probably three or four days ago. So I'm wondering how close she is. So you guys click on the link down below and see if she's at a thousand. And if she's not, sub her up. And if she is, still sub her up because she's fantastic. All right. So again, she has reseller content. She does like some of those thread up boxes and her, her channel's a little bit different. She does a lot of variety and she does collab videos with other resellers and you just want to check her out. It's a lot of fun. Okay. Let's see what she got here. Hearing aids, Starkey hearing aid completely in canal CIC battery case and cleaner. I don't know. That must be something to do with how, I don't know. <laughs> uh, anyway, she got this at an estate sale for three bucks and she sold these for $150 made in Germany. I'm trying to see if there's any other information that I can show you guys from this. It looks like it comes with the little case and the batteries. Now I will say, I don't know, these must not be prescription. So if an item is prescription, I don't think you can sell it, but I don't see anything that says RX or anything like that. So um, just be careful with items that are prescription. You do not want to sell those. The next item is these books, Rethinking France. And I'm not even going to attempt to pronounce that title, but it is the complete set, um, a rare find volume one through four. And she got these at the at a garage sale for 50 cents each and sold them for a best offer of $150. So you can see she's showing photos that, you know, you want to know that the pages look good and she did a good job with her photos. All right. The next item is this sweatshirt and Astro World, Travis Scott, Astro World, wish you were here, hoodie, authentic. So is that a band? Maybe. I don't know. Independent trading company, not really sure. But here's what she says. She bought it eBay auction for 20 and then flipped it on eBay for $76.97. So I'm not sure what makes this special. If anybody knows, let me know in the comments and maybe she'll watch and chime in for that. All right, the next item comes from 1987 Ventures. Tracy, this is her YouTube channel and she hasn't put much content out lately but definitely sub her up for when she starts putting out content again. And we are going to look at some of her sold items. She is definitely a bolo finder. She's got some really cool stuff. This one I feel like she sent me because I like stuff like this. And I feel like they're things that get overlooked. Um, is it big money? No, it's not big money. But for what it is, it's really good money. All right, so this is a vintage Black Cobra Great Escape Lake George, New York pin back button roller coaster souvenir. So it is a pin back button. It originally was $1.49, probably at an amusement park and really fun item. She got this at, let's see, 
She got five amusement park pins for $2 at a flea market, and this sold in one hour for $30.49. So it was also a quick sale. The next item is The Mummy. It is a hardcover book, 1989, and this sold within hours also. She bought a box of books for $5 at an estate sale, and she sold this for $46.87 plus shipping. The next item are these Free Bird by Stephen Blade women's boots. They're bohemian booty is her words. These sold in one day for $155. They were in the bottom of a shoe box at a Boy Scout yard sale. So she has about a dollar in these. Super fun, Bolo. Um, Free Bird. Uh, rural, a rural squirrel recently. I featured... Um, some free birds that she sold also. So it must be a well-known popular brand to Bolo for. So the next item comes from Leo's Treasure. She does not have a YouTube channel, but she has a fantastic eBay store. So go down and follow her eBay store. Look at this cool uh, little patch. It's vintage. Um, I would price that higher and wait for the right buyer just because it's vintage Halloween and it, it's pretty cool graphic there. So um, look at this guy. How fun is that? Somebody posted in the, uh, my Facebook group, I think about finding a bunch of these at a thrift store. So definitely a cool find. All right, let's see what she sold here. She sold this scarf and she wants to give credit to be carried away. Carrie, if you are not following be carried away, you should definitely follow her. She knows a lot about vintage clothing and she has amazing key words. Um, but, um, Leo's Treasures here learned about this from watching Be Carried Away on YouTube, which is fantastic. And I love hearing when you guys find things because of my channel and hearing that you guys, um, that she found something because of Carrie's channel. That's just great. Um, she got this at an estate sale for three bucks and she sold it for $70.75. It is a vintage Rita Condren Ireland Fisherman's hand knit scarf. Uh, definitely never heard of Rita Condren. <laughs> Not even sure I'm saying that right, but that's what it looks like. So the next item that sold is Play School Nosy Bears Hot Rod Spinning Race Car Stuffed Animal. How cute is this thing? I would have scooped this up in a second. Even if it wasn't a big money bolo, I still would have grabbed it because I would know that something like this would definitely sell and be a bread and butter because somebody had this as a kid and they're looking for it. This uh, she got at the Goodwill Benz. So you pay by weight at the Benz. And this sold for $44.95 plus shipping. The next item that sold is this Bobcat. And I love this one because you all know that I love small toys, things that are easy to ship. And just I learned so much by looking up toys. Now, would you guys have looked at this twice or would you just thrown it in a bunch of cars? I may have been guilty of throwing it in a bunch of cars. Um, she got this. It was given to her and it sold super fast for $25 plus shipping. All right. This item comes from Carrie from Be Carried Away, who I was just telling you all about. Again, amazing titles and descriptions. I horrible titles and descriptions. I really, really struggle with it. That's probably why I like toys because they're super easy. But when it comes to clothing and I'm trying to figure out like what style of dress it is and all of that stuff. Oh my goodness. I really struggle with that. So check out Be Carried Away if you want to learn more about that. All right. I just turned my page without giving you guys her bolos. Let's look at her bolos here. This is a vintage new with tags, Brooks Brothers Madras plaid jacket blazer sports coat. It's got these pastel colors and it is a size 50. So great picture. She's got all the information, the original tag of $198. She got this at the Salvation Army for $7.99 and took a best offer of $150 for that. And the buyer paid shipping. This dollhouse, Carrie has been like scooping up dollhouses and selling them like crazy. I featured a dollhouse in the last video um, that I featured her in. It sold for crazy money over on Etsy. So if you missed that video, definitely go check it out. She got this on Facebook Marketplace for $45 and it sold overnight for $399.20. How about that? One of a kind. O-O-A-K stands for one of a kind. 
The next item is this oh, Jacobean, Jac Jacobean, J-A-C-O-B-E-A-N, Jacobean, I don't know, Mission Oak Complete Frame Cruel Embroidery Botanical Tree of Life Art. Again, like the key words, uh, amazing. Um, she got this at the Salvation Army for $3.99 and sold it for $109.99 plus shipping. All right, the next item comes from Thrift and Style 1156. No YouTube channel. This is eBay store right here. And lots of, oh, that's a print. I was like, is that a stuffed animal? It's an actual print. Check it out. Baby clothes, vintage, vintage razors. Very, very cool store. So that will be linked down below. Oh, look at the hedgehog. Ah, that's so fun. Okay, so she sold this um lifeguard ultraviolet aquatic sterilizer i think it goes in a fish tank maybe let me see here they retail for over a thousand wow okay so she got this out of a dumpster and she sold it on facebook for a best offer of three hundred dollars so yeah i think it goes in a fish tank so talk about free into some big money right there. All right. The next item she sold are these H-U-K. And this is more of a bread and butter. Um, she got these at the Goodwill bins. So that's one thing that's nice about the Goodwill bins is you're picking things up really cheap um, by weight. Now, I did think it was interesting how she did this. I've never done this with clothing. She flipped them inside out, which is kind of a good idea to show the pockets and that there's no stains. That's interesting. Does anybody else flip their items inside out? Let me know in the comments. I'd like to hear. I think it would take way too much time. I'm too lazy. Just going to be up front. I'm too lazy to flip things inside out. All right. So she sold these for a best offer of $20 plus shipping. The next item is this Lily Pulitzer dress. And Carrie from Be Carried Away sells a lot of Lily Pulitzer um, she hit a nice little jackpot at a thrift store recently. And here it's original tags. And she got this at the Goodwill. She paid $13 for it and took a best offer of $85. And it sold within two weeks. And I really, really think this photo is fantastic. I like her mannequin. It's very nice. All right. The next item is from MSG Treasures. And he is a major bolo finder recently he picked up oh my goodness just an amazing find um i'm trying to see right here check out this jackpot video just incredible and i've talked about it on one of my other videos but he is just finding the bolos right now so let's see what he found here go check out his channel to see those videos but he found these uh speakers they're bows and he got these for two for i think fifty dollars at the salvation army and he sold both sets one this set for 150 and the other set for 129.99 and i think they sold in three days i have three days written here so i think that's what that means so that's pretty fantastic uh return really fast return also this is a savor oh i can't say this word uh saworski <laughs> probably said it wrong. Sorry, guys. Crystal palm tree, palmetto figurine. And he got this at an auction. He paid 40 bucks for it. So he did pay up a little bit, but he sold it for $149.99. The next item is this Civil War book, uh, Diary of Wyman S. White, second U.S. Sharpshooters hardcover, 1991 rare. I think, how many books do I walk past that are worth crazy money? Um, because I don't even look at them. Uh, my husband likes books, but uh, this one he got at from the same, uh, the die cast haul that I was telling you about. Oh my goodness. This book came from there also. Five bucks. And he sold it for a best offer of $200. The next item comes from Got Junk in Our Trunk. And I am happy to say that she hit 1,000 subscribers. So woohoo! thank you to everyone that has subbed. Go sub her up. Let's keep her uh, sub counts going up. 
She is a moderator of my Facebook group. So is Be Carried Away. And um, I think that's the only other person in this video uh, that helps me mod that group. But that group is growing like crazy. It's almost to 65,000 members. So if you're not in my Facebook group, definitely go and subscribe or not subscribe, join. <laughs> There's a link down in the description. All right. So let's see what got junk in our trunk found. She found this amazing poncho and I just love this one. Um, Granny Square. And this reminds me of Jesse Shops. If you're not following Jesse Shops, definitely go over and follow her on Instagram. And she is also on YouTube. She is sweet as can be. And she is always doing little videos where she is showing herself wearing really cool, fun items. And I could see her wearing this. So check her out. All right. So great title by Got Junk in Our Trunk. Vintage Granny Square Poncho, Olive Orange Gold, Handmade Crochet Afghan Boho Hippie. Amazing keywords. She got this at a yard sale for $2, sold in 48 hours for $45.98 plus shipping. The next item she found is this vintage Madame Alexander doll, Hey Diddle Diddle outfit. And she got this at the Goodwill for $3.50. And she sold this for $55 plus shipping. But she also sold this one, who is Anne of Green Gables. This one sold for $55 plus shipping. And the last one she sold is this uh, Army doll. And this one sold for $79.99 plus shipping. And again, she paid $3.50 each for these at the Goodwill. And the last item she sold is this vintage enamel Catherine Holm Lotus Bowl MCM Orange on White Catherine Holm Bowl. And again, I think it's really important to put this information right here so everybody can see has some light scratches inside due to age and use, no chips or deep damage. See all photos. And then you can see here she's got a photo of the inside, a close up of the scratches. Very important to do this if you are listing something that has some imperfections. So she did a great job of showing that. Another reason you should be following her on YouTube. Uh, she got this at, I think her daughter got this at a yard sale for $2 and it sold for $130 plus shipping. The next item comes from Lake Threads and he has a newer YouTube channel and he just scored major and he has a short and you can't see it here because he released it after I pulled up this uh, tab, but go check out and see what he found. Incredible incredible. I'm super excited for him. All right. So he sold this Boyd's. Okay. So this is a rare Boyd's bear figurine bloom and blossom. Spring has sprung. Now I am going to tell you that typically the Boyd's bear figurines are bread and butter and they take a long time to sell. That has been my experience. Um, some of them, however, like this one, and the Halloween ones, they sell much quicker and for a decent profit. Now, the reason I'm telling you this is a bolo is he sold this on eBay first for $34.99. And then it sold, um, let's see, and Mercari. So he sold it on both eBay and Mercari because it was a highly sought after rare item. And Mercari. Oh, okay. So on Mercari, the buyer messaged him and offered him an extra hundred dollars to sell him the item. But because it sold first on eBay, he went ahead and honored the sale to the person that bought it for $34.99 um, plus shipping. So could he have canceled the sale on eBay and took the hundred bucks on Mercari? Yes. But Tell me in the comments what you would have done. I personally would have done what he did. Um, I think he did the right thing because the person on eBay bought it first. But I would love to hear you guys' comments down below. All right. The next item is this vintage Sugar Street Weavers. Is it tapestry? Es oh, goodness. These words. Es oh, I can't say that word either. Esquest es equestrian? Equestrian. Equestrian. I don't know, something like that. Horse racing jacket. It's so cool. Anyway, um, he sold this on Poshmark for $65. He picked it up at a thrift store for $2.49.
I'm not gonna try again. I was gonna try again, but I decided not to. Okay, this is a mini Arcom PX03 Pro Mini Digital Incubator. What? Um, this one came from a thrift store and he sold it for $34 on Mercari plus shipping. And I don't know what he paid for it. I apologize. And the next item he sold on Mercari, I love this one because it's a rag quilt. It's a vintage handmade rag quilt, frayed edges, primitive style, country quilt. How fun is that? Um, here's the front and the back. I actually, I don't know which side is supposed to be showing. Maybe the rag side is supposed to be up. But anyway, he uh, got this at a thrift store for $2 and sold it for $37 plus shipping on Mercari. And the last but not least, comes from Auctions For You. And if you are not following her on YouTube, please go sub her up. She sells to resellers. So she um, buys things wholesale and not new stuff. She is buying vintage pre-owned items and she is bringing them to her YouTube channel and auctioning them off. Sometimes she does buy it nows. It is a great place to source. I have bought from her many, many times. So uh, check her out below if you're looking for inventory. It's really nice because you can just shop from the comfort of your home and it's shipped right to your door. So um, Donatella Bottolino is also, she does the same thing. And T and Donna go back and forth on each other's channels. So I will link them both down below if you are looking for inventory. And if you're not looking for inventory, it's just a fun place to hang out and watch and talk in the chat. So come hang out. All right, let's see what she sold. Now, her husband does help her and he does a lot of the eBay stuff and she does the YouTube stuff. She doesn't put much on eBay. I actually had a hard time finding some stuff to add to the video because she's not listing very much right now. But this is a Franklin Mint die cast car and she sold this for $79.95 plus shipping and she probably bought this in a storage unit or from somebody who um, she just buys in bulk from people. So she's bought a toy store. I mean, just crazy, just crazy stuff she finds. So really fantastic. And this little figure probably came from the toy store. It's an aliens, the deluxe alien leader King alien by Kenner 1994 and sold it for 32 99 plus shipping. So what I would like to tell you here is anytime you can find toys that are sealed, definitely pick them up. They're at least going to be bread and butter. Some of them are going to go for big money. It really just depends, but they're easy to, you can scan them or you can look them up and just really easy to list. So thank you all so much for being here. Thank you for watching. Um, uh, this is part of a four part series. So if you like these types of videos where you're getting to see the best of the best, because I'm digging through, well, actually they're sending me the bolos. I used to dig through their stores, but now they send them to me. So if you want to see more videos like this, definitely check out last month's videos. Fantastic bolo items to be on the lookout for. And if you're new here, I'd love for you to subscribe. If you've been here for a long time, thank you so much. Thank you to everybody that is here watching. I appreciate you all so much. And I'm going to have some videos popping up here and here and to subscribe in another video down below. I'd love for you to check out another video and thanks for watching.